Minecraft is a game set in a world that's pretty similar to Earth, and because of this, it's always walked a fine line between realism and abstraction, turning real-world concepts into functional gameplay mechanics. But what about the opposite? Can we take things learned from Minecraft and apply them to real life? Last time I tested Minecraft's cake recipe, seeing whether you can make a real cake using only the ingredients shown in-game. This time, we'll be testing Minecraft's boat by building a full-size, real-world replica and comparing its IRL performance to the performance seen in-game. But how does the boat perform in-game? Like, we know it floats, but how much weight does it have to hold? How fast can it go? How stable is it? Before we can design a challenge that'll accurately test our life-size boat, we need to know what it's capable of in Minecraft. And for that, I had to do a little bit of research. For the sake of simplicity, I'm gonna assume that anytime Steve is in the boat, he's totally naked. Or, well, that at the very least, he isn't carrying 45,000 tons of gold blocks. Thanks, Austin. Okay, but seriously, if you measure Steve in Minecraft, depending on how you measure, you'll discover that he's approximately 1.8 to 2 blocks tall, which, in the real world, comes out to around 6 or 6.5 feet. I looked up the average weight for a 6-foot male bodybuilder and found that Steve would likely weigh at least 200 pounds, meaning the bare minimum our boat has to hold is at least 400 pounds for the two-person capacity we see in-game. But that's not all. In addition, the boat is stupid fast, able to move through water at a speed of 28.8 kilometers per hour. And to put that in perspective, it's just a little faster than the world's fastest eight-man rowing teams. Damn. In addition, unlike a rowing shell, the Minecraft boat is also incredibly agile, able to turn on a dime. And it's stable enough to be used for activities like fishing and archery. Clearly, testing this boat means more than just seeing if it'll float, so to test the boat in real life, I devised a river challenge course that'll put both us and our boat through the ultimate set of Minecraft challenges. We'll begin at Violet Patch Park, boarding our boat and traveling the first two miles of our 10-mile journey, testing our boat's speed, buoyancy, and functionality. As we paddle our way down the river, we'll approach Hudson Crossing Park, where a handful of enemy mobs will be waiting for us. This will be our chance to test the boat's stability and practicality as an archery platform. Assuming everything's going well, we'll continue another eight miles down the river while simultaneously testing Minecraft's fishing mechanics with a Minecraft-style stick and string fishing rod. And finally, as we approach our destination, we'll negotiate the hardest trial of all, testing the boat's maneuverability and resilience by attempting a Class 2 whitewater course. It's not going to be easy, but based upon how the boat performs, I think we'll be able to assess whether it's a real-world viable vessel. The boat was ready to go, so I grabbed my friend Alex and we hit the river. Hey! So far, so good. All right, we're good. We go? Go. Well, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Holy crap! You get right, I'll get left. All right. <laughs> Very slow move. Once we get out into the river a little bit, it should be better. <laughs> hey! Hey, there we go. And now the current should take us. There we go. Dude, this is pretty good. I mean, honestly. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like, like a big pizza pie, pie at Samore. Steve stands in it, right? No. Okay, this is not, this is not the strategy. <laughs> this is like a freaking barge. <laughs> All right, so. As we were hoping for, it's slightly under the water, um, just like it should be, and uh, most of this part is totally floating above it because the density of the wood in the base is so high that it's like a cork. This is walking speed. At least. We're supposed to Ooh. get 10 miles. That's gonna be a hike. Wait, if you stay on one side and I get the other. All right. Oh, baby. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> Dude, we're going like maybe five. Maybe yeah. six miles an hour? Dude, these paddles are a lot of work though. These paddles are the only part of this that isn't one-to-one -one with Minecraft. They're supposed to be five inches by five inches, literally unmovable. So much. Oh, dude, this is already going so much better than the paper boat. <laughs> I feel like we've made a lot of progress, but if you look around... Oh, I know. Never look back. Never look back. It's gonna be slow boat. Oh, it's gonna be slow going. Are we actually speeding up? Yeah. Oh, we definitely are. No! Oh, this is great. Oh, yes. I think we've like figured it out. I think so. 
knock on wood. <laughs> Dude, we're so lucky we didn't break the boat just now. It could have gone in our inventory. I feel like Steve. I also feel like Steve. <laughs> How does it feel to know that you built this and we're now riding it? I mean, the thing that's funny about that is that I build everything. The only way to do this is to build it yourself. Is that? There it is. Land ho. Land ho. All right, let's boogie. <laughs> Shoot! We'll make it. Oh, we're so not gonna make it. We'll totally make it. Crap. No, we'll make it. We will so not. We're, we're trying to come to you! Oh, we're going, we're going. We gotta keep going. We're gonna make it. I found the rocks. Nice. I'm serious. Get some Minecraft boat. <laughs> I'm serious. The boat is working. We're not sinking. How do you feel like the journey went, Alex? Oh, it was great. We successfully reached our checkpoint, but before we could continue, we had to test our boat's utility as an archery platform by taking out a small army of enemy mobs. Yeah, let's try to get the most points. I think the shortest one is one point, the one on the left is two, and the one way in the back is three. Three, two, one, go. Oh, dude, we're gonna totally be able to hit these. Oh, I'm gonna try to hit one of the ones in front. Oh! You have to get some. I feel like oh. we should be having like a slow-mo cam to see if you miss everything. All right. You have to hit him at least once. So far, we have like half a point. All right. Oh! Uh, yeah, no, dude, that so counts. <laughs> dude, we're so bad at archery. I know. <laughs> Holy crap. Let's uh, cheat. What? Pull it back and shit. <laughs> All right. Round three with the... Uh, Mob's a little bit. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Hey. Nice. Oh. Let's try to hit this one. Nice. Hey. All right. Got him. <laughs> that was so much harder than it is in game. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. On to the next destination. Yeah. Let's uh, put these in our inventory. Hold up. Whoa, holy cow, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> and so we shoved off yet again, valiantly going forward to finish the course we started and attempt to catch a fish. Which way do we go? We gotta battle, we gotta battle. Do it, oh shoot. We gotta battle. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Do we have to push? We might just have to get out. Hold up, hold up. We've got the sticks. All right. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, wait. I think we're good now. We're getting good at controlling this thing. Oh, yeah. Damn, dude. Steve must work out, though. Like, oh, seriously. Holy crap. <laughs> we might want to go over there. Why do you say over there? Because I think the river is deeper over there. That's the main channel. All right. I'm going to try to fish. Ah, oh, dude, you can just fish off the back of the boat. Yeah. This is actually the front of the boat. I still can't tell the difference. Still can't tell, nobody can. <laughs> We're just gonna do like that. Dude, holy crap, I got a bite. Um, um, oh, I lost him, no. <laughs> so close. All right, here, hand me the fish that we got from the store. <laughs> Compared to Minecraft, fishing in real life is a lot more difficult. We really tried to catch some fish, but it turns out fishing in real life is super hard. And after an hour without any success, we just took the L. All right, we're coming up on the whitewater section here. Um, so I think we gotta just kind of navigate the boat into position. Yeah? All right. <laughs> oh, we gotta steer. <laughs> Rip. All right. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, oh, it's pretty shallow here. Here, I'll get on this side and then. Oh, we gotta steer. 
got to steer away from the rocks. Around this one? Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be big. Dude. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, alright. <laughs> oh, we got a steer. Here, and I just have to turn around. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I think he's doing that. Alright, I'm not Oh, we gotta nail that center. Yeah, I know we do. Massively dunked. <laughs> oh, yes, dude. <laughs> Nailed it. So now back to shore. Now we gotta go to the shore. How was that it? That was sick. This worked really, really well. It like held up in the rapids. We hit a bunch of rocks. It was totally fine. I don't think I could ask for a better result. This thing is, I mean, you know, if this were a Mythbusters episode, I'd say confirmed. All right, the audio got messed up. So thank you so much for watching. My friend Alex is an incredible outdoor photographer. You should check out his work. It's linked below. If you want to watch us test Minecraft's cake recipe, you can tap the top right corner. If you want to see me test another ridiculous boat, you can do so by clicking either of the links on screen. If you want to hang out in between videos, you can do so by joining the community discord. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting this channel, and I'll see you all next time.